Hello everyone, this is Metal Kid Doc, back for another Pokemon Leap Free video, and man, it's been a while. Well, I've been dealing with school and all that, and, well, let's just say it was hard, and we have a Thanksgiving break right now, which is why I'm able to record this, so, enough about my life and all that, let's get into this. The final dungeon of the main game, Victory Road. And I did something off screen, and it wasn't it wasn't anything too heinous or anything too heinous. All I really did was I bought some max repels because man oh man, you're gonna run into a lot of Pokemon in this game. And heck, even these repels aren't gonna even these repels aren't going to like help out here. And yeah, I just realized you have to have strength for this, but luckily Rockley has strength. So yes, it's good to be back, and I'm going to try to make it a habit to, I'm going to try to get this Let's Play done by the end of the year, that is my promise to you guys, and I'm going to try to keep that promise as best I can. But we're almost done with like the main story, so yeah, <clears throat> that's going to be great. Also, my throat's a little, my throat's still, like, I still have a cough, it's not fun at all. Like, I've had it for about, like, two or three months now? I'm going to see a doctor next week, but it's ridiculous. I've been trying everything. I've been at my wit's end trying to get rid of it. Man, oh man, I was doing stuff off screen and I ran into a wild hero, and I was so tempted to fight just to small talk in the level 45. Anyway, now we can actually achieve that, now that I'm doing this on camera. <coughs> and I have some water behind me. Oh, I did have water behind me. Anyway, let's just take out this version. Nothing too crazy. And, yeah, I'm just gonna try to get- Mainly in this dungeon, I'm gonna try to get all to catch up with the rest of the team, because my team's about the level he would want to fight the Elite Four at, but they could use a bit more training. But, I'll try to get as much training as I can done in this dungeon. Gun, dungeon, get it? Okay. But in all seriousness, I'm gonna try to get... I'm gonna try to get as much training as I can done in Victory Road. But, I might do some little off-screen stuff to like, I don't know, change around movesets, and I will probably highlight that at the end of the next, uh, at the beginning of the next video. Because I like to keep you guys informed. And I'm so tempted to use Flamethrower, but I don't know if this thing has Flash Fire. Well, we're about to find out! Ha, ah, you missed. Do you have Flash Fire? Okay, you don't. For those who don't know Flash Fire, what it does is it basically nullifies fire attacks and boosts special attacks. Okay, we're gonna try to get Hi, wow, a trainer that would draw the Pokemon, that's rare. Heck, that, that doesn't even happen in the newer game. Oh, there we go, now, that Flatfire just didn't you? You just wanted to demonstrate it for us. Demonstrate it for the class. Alright, we'll poison. I'm curious, does that seal... I'm curious if that seals Flamethrower because... What Imprisoned does is essentially, I'm tempted to just use Flamethrower just to find out if Imprison works. Yeah, okay, there we go. Wow, that's that's interesting. We ne you never get to see the effect of Imprison such, a, such, such an awful move. Like, it's just, as, it's just as useless as Splash, because for the most part, the Pokemon you're going to be facing, um, the most, for the most part, Pokemon you're going to be facing don't have the same moves. If there was like an ability that gave Ditto in prison after it transformed, maybe it could be like 60 uses, but I think they got rid of it throughout the generation because it's such a useless move. Anyway, let's pick out these Vulpix. Oh, you're going to use Confuse, right? Well, that sucks. And the reason why I'm not just switching Pokemon is I want Molotov to catch up with I said that earlier, but I really want to get Oh, you're gonna use items now, that's cheap. 
you're really tempting me to switch to my other Pokemon. You really are. I'm curious. I might also, I might as well, since you're gonna be annoying, I'm gonna be annoying that. I'm just that petty. Such that Magma doesn't have flash fire as well, that'd be pretty cool. But I think I'm, I need to really look up a you know what I'll just look it up right now. What's the ability? The ability Oh, flame body. Or, oh yeah, I think I made a mention of how that ability is pretty cool. Or it's like makes eggs hatch faster. Speaking of which, we might as well talk about we might as well talk about the new Pokemon games that they play come out and everything, and I've been reading Pokemon. So, yeah, it's a pretty good game, honestly. A lot of people complain about it, and mainly performance issues, and yeah, I can't deny it, performance issues are terrible, but still a good game in my opinion. Who knows, maybe they might have to be more, like, performance issues later on, but yeah, I don't like what companies tend to do that, but... It's okay here, because the game itself, I think, is pretty good. It's, it's very similar to uh, RCS in terms of open-worldness. And, come on, am I gonna slip this? Yes, I am. It's very similar to Legend of Arceus, but it's like a mainline title. The beginning half, I gotta say, like, it's a bit slow, but it's not co-op, man. You can play with friends, and, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna switch. I know I was being stubborn earlier, but yeah, I'm gonna switch. I'll switch to Rift. Give him some kind of spotlight. Or in the sunlight in this game. It, it might still be. Actually, I don't think it's still sunny anymore. Well, I'm glad it's not sunny because it makes surf still. I mean, they nerf. It nerfs the power of water. So, yeah, it would be good to have sun up. But like I said, uh, Scarlet and Violet are good games. I, I like them. You know what, I'll just take you out because you are going to be annoying. Because I think Ninetales also has Flash Fire. And you're going to use Confusory, so yeah. I'm going to take you out. You've overstated a welcome, lady. I've just been catching every single Pokemon in that game. My complaint is Pokedex in that one. A that'll be the a that'll be able to beat the Pokedex in this game because technically it would be impossible unless you cheated. And you got like the whole you got the whole hoe inside to catch at the post game. So yeah, this game is really hard to complete. I believe I don't even know if you get the cool reward you get for catching all 386 Pokemon in this game. And, yeah, I can still run into Pokemon here. Yeah, they're, yeah, it's on a higher level. My repels don't work that way, so, yeah. Heck, I wanted to get up to, like, level 48, so if you're not, like, higher than level 48, you're still gonna run into wild Pokemon, even with repel mode. Might as well just break break. You know what? I'm tempted. Since I was just going on about how to catch, like, Pokemon and all that, is that you do need to catch 60 Pokemon by the end of the game in order to progress with, like, the post game. We might as well just catch this Onyx. This will be redemption for that one time I didn't catch Onyx in Rock Tunnel. Come on! Hit the ball! Uh -uh. Didn't even shake. And thank goodness we have the ability Limber. Because we'd probably be paralyzed by that. Spinning Dragon Breath. I wish Onyx itself didn't have like bad stats because Onyx evolved into Steelix, which is pretty good. And Onyx looks cool, but Onyx itself is just no, you don't really want to use it. It's got you can catch Geodude, it gets out it just gets outclassed by Geodude in so many ways. Nox to you go, buddy. I'm not gonna name you anything. And you have to choose between these two items. Which one do you want? Well, I'm gonna take this one. You get a rare candy for doing that. 
And if you come back, if you like reset the room by just going through the. Oh, okay, we'll walk over. Uh, you know what? At some point, I just, if these if these wild battles just take, if these overlevel Pokemon take most of your screen time, I will try to cut some of these battles. But I won't cut this one in particular because I believe Magmar will level up. Yeah, I like to show the level ups. Haha, you missed. But yeah, I got something special planned for the finale. I'm not gonna tell any of ya. It's gonna be pretty cool, though. Oh, here we go. New battle. I can see that you're good. Let me see exactly how you Buddy, I've been playing this game for 20 years or so. I actually, no, not 20 years. I'm, I'm 21, so that would make sense. I wasn't playing the game for 21, so... Eh, 15 years, give or take. Going down, Eradicate. Get karate chopped in the face. Charizard. Yep, there's Charizard. You know what, Roland? I've given you some time to run. Might as well have to shock this guy's wings down. It's gonna hurt. Roland isn't exactly known for his defense, but hey, it's him with Thunderbolt. Yeah, I won't go boom on you, but I will zap you. Let's see. Charmeleon. I'm tempted to use Thunder on you, but no, I'll use Brain Dance. Let's. Let's lower the power of your fire there. Oh no, scary face, whatever it might do. I'm like the fastest Pokemon in the game, man. Or rolling the fastest Pokemon in the game. I doubt that's gonna change speed. Yeah, see, I'm still fast. So that's your... You're futile in your endeavors, sir. Okay, two might... Two might make you a bit faster. I don't know. Still faster. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna uh, use items. Yeah, these cool trainers like to use items to switch. Which that make them a bit more of a challenge, but they do get annoying. Just spamming items. And ha, you're paralyzed. You can't do nothing about that. You don't have any full restores, you just have hyper potions. There we go. Go rolling, level 47. What's next? Ivysaur. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's go, hipster. Haha! -ha, my insomnia chances out here. Okay, I didn't intend for that to be the play, but hey, I guess. Goes to show I unintentionally made a good play there. I was mainly thinking of like not picking Molotov over just to the but hey, I didn't know you had sleep powder on you, so good on me. Swagger. That is. I'll just show it. I'll just say yes, but I won't put it on my move set. This will be my final move set. A move that makes the foe confused but crazy in the pack. It's. I don't know if it's a good move, but it's not a bad move either. It's kind of fair. You can use it on like a special attack of Pokemon and it would be useless, but. I th okay, never mind. I think we. I think you actually. I think. I think the trainer actually used it before on my. on my hit no. It, it just made my Shadow Ball stronger. 
go to your special defense there. And then, if I hit it with a Psychic, it's done for. I hope I can have this kind of coordination in the Elite Four, because the Elite Four can be tricky if you're either underleveled or don't have the proper team when you go into it. Anyway, let's move on to the next floor. Here we are, there's... Boulder pushing puzzles. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, here we go, strength. I'm kinda glad HMs were kind of rid of in the newer games. I just I just like how they do that because yeah, I like having like kind of like like having all four moves available to use. And Surf is a good move, don't get me wrong, but like if you could like have like, I don't know. Hydro Pump, I guess, that would be much better. A lot of moves outclass eight gems. And I've gone over that a lot. So yeah, we'll just heal up, of course. So yeah, let's get these boulder puzzle get these boulder pushing puzzles done with. A Marowak! Mm. A lot of rare Pokemon in here. Actually, not really rare Pokemon, but... Marowak is... Okay, you know what? Marowak is sort of rare. Like, a Marowak... The only way to get into the two bone is Lavender Power, and that's pretty rare. You know what? Lettuce. Lettuce hasn't gotten time to shine. I don't want Hypno to be overlooked with this. Vital Throw. You, but not too much. Let's hit you with that. Let's hit you with that razor leaf. Oh, you're not doing too much. But the games I've been playing recently, other than like Pokemon Scarlet, is I've been playing Persona 5 Royal, and that's been fun. I played the original before. I played the original on PS4, and I was actually on a time limit for playing that because my brother, my brother was taking like PS4 because it was his PS4, it was mine, so I just bought it because it's the only thing to play it on at the time. And so I only had a summer to basically beat the game, and I did. So I had to, like, you know, it's a lot of time managing to get that done. It was a fun game. And now that I'm playing the Royal Edition, I love all the changes they made, and... I just think it's a good game. Who knows, I might do something from the Megami Tensei series. I might do something from the Shin Megami Tensei series someday. Never know. But, yeah! Oh, speaking of that, I really, we really should, me and my friend really should get back into doing Persona 3. Yeah, I, my friend Ethan's doing it on his channel. And, well, yeah. We haven't done it in a while, and we might get back to that at some point. I still gotta edit some of his videos, though. But yeah, the main reason I haven't been editing stuff or doing that is mainly just school. I'm enjoying my time at school, though. I am struggling with some of the classes, like, somewhat. I've still been good in some classes, but, like, it's just hard to, it's just hard to keep up with assignments, you know? These guys have a lot, these guys have a lot of, of like, hurt. Critical hit! And a gold duck, okay. Water type. I'm surprised it's pure water type, honestly. Like, I still can't get over that. It's, usually, it's known for its psychic abilities of, like, a Psyduck, so I'm surprised it's not, like, water psychic, but Star Man. 
That probably make it more. That probably make it more relevant. Here we go, Tamer Vincent. I got whipped. Lettuce over here gave you 40 lashes. Anyway, let's see what you've got on your team, buddy. Is Victory Road 2 tough? Pretty long, but I don't know. Maybe as a kid I thought it was pretty tough. And, oh, there's a Mr. Mine. Yeah, you have to trade to get that. I, I think I traded for it. I'm trying to remember. Oh, I think it's just been so long. I could have checked the... Oh, flame body. Okay, now I'm glad I don't have a flame fire. You could have just copied my ability. And ruined the whole purpose of me just spamming flame door. Alright, is that all you're gonna do? Just roll play? You're not a magmar, but you're a Mr. Mime. If Mr. Mime was in the wild, who knows? That could have been my Pokemon I cho chose, but... I think people have used Mr. Mind more than Hypno, you know, honestly. Anyway, a TM07 Hail. Eh, yeah, decent weather ability. I mean, it, it, I think it got ex not expanded on, but I think it became more popular to use in competitive scenes in, like, Gen 7 because some Pokemon have, like, abilities that make that double your invasion in Hail. I don't know, maybe there was some there's some sort of need for Frost Slash in Gen 4 with it to build a snow club. Yep, riveting gameplay, just pushing boulders. I still love the gameplay of the game, I'm just making fun of how how long it pushes boulder in for. And do not step on that ladder, my god. That just reset the puzzle. <laughs> there we go. Freedom! TM50 Overheat. Yeah, that's an interesting move. I could teach that to Magmar. Could be like a good nuking ability. I'm gonna have to think on that though. Trainers live to seek stronger opponents. As they say, a thrill of one more kill. Let's see what you got on your team, Well, very. You know what? Now that I think about it, yeah, I could get rid of smog. I could get rid of smog, add another move that isn't a fire type move. Smoke screen and boom, I got the set. I got the I got the Magmar move set. Cosmic power. That raises your special defense. Yep, and defense, okay. Still, I don't think you're gonna be able to take a plan to work. Yep. Jigglypuff. I know I probably made this joke in like an earlier episode, but like, if you all remember that one episode of the anime where they had to guess which Pokemon it was on the screen for like a exam, and they all thought it was like either a Voltorb or an Electrode, and James thought it was a Pokemon. So, but it was a Jigglypuff scene from above! Oh, you're gonna heal, that's disrespectful. It's a full restore, too. Even more disrespectful. I don't like your attitude. I don't like your attitude, madam. Maybe I should have put up a sunny day and started to do plane door. Dugong! Okay. Go rolling. Ow, I completely forgot to heal you. Well, hit it with a thunderbolt. Yes, critical hits. Wow, these critical hits are coming in clutch. Watch, now that I say that, they're not gonna uh, show up at all, and only show up when the opponent does it. Hmm. 
Chansey. Okay. Ah, uh, Rock Lee, you take care of this. I want the experience. Minimize. Oh, you're gonna be back from the special plane. There's one move I really like, or not one move I really like, there's one detail I like, which is if you stomp while they use minimize, it does more damage. I'm curious if that if that carries over to Foresight. Because I know Foresight can like negate ghost type. You know, I'm gonna try it. I'm keeping go I'm just keeping Foresight just because I have to fight like a ghost for here. Let's see, can I still hit you now? Oh, I can! Okay, that might have just been... That might have just been sheer luck. But, I'd like to believe that Minimize did something here. Critical hit, too! My goodness! I love it! Okay, now I'm starting to think that was pure luck, but... I will take it! I will not complain whatsoever. <laughs> okay. I will not complain whatsoever, just immediately, just... The repels effect, we're off. Okay, got 24 of these things. That'll be more than enough to get through this dungeon. And we got some more trainers, which I kind of want to heal for these. Let's see, I have a few more hyper potions. There you go, rolling. I think everyone else can still survive. Let's see, I'm checking my party real quick. Might wanna get Molotov. Then yeah, Molotov can level up one more time, and then maybe I can use some rare candies on the rest of the team. Only a chosen can pass here. Buddy, I'm the protagonist. You know who you're talking to. Colby has a Kingler. I think I've said this before, but I think Kingler was originally gonna be my water type. Yeah, Grim wasn't. Grim wasn't my original choice, but I decided on Grim because I thought having the bombs on would have been more dramatic. Ow, that's gonna hurt. Uh, my speed fell. Am I still faster? Yes, I am. There we go, super effective. Molotov grew to level 48, okay. Holy world. Hit it with the explosion. Wait, I'm not gonna hit it with the explosion. I'm gonna hit it with a thunderbolt. It'd be a waste to not get up on the XP. I mainly only can be looking for bosses. Just reserve it for those special kind of trainers. Uh, thunder. Should I use thunder? Thunder. I'm trying it. Yeah, there we go. I just know how to, I just know how tanky and kind of cool can be. Yeah, example. Example, exhibit A, right there. Oh, yes, I lived it! Oh my god, that was a crit. Oh, come on! That's not cool. Nice job, Roland. That was too close for comfort. And level 48, that's good. Trying to learn Swift. Nah, Swift never misses, but I do like having the more risky. More risky. Okay. You know what? I'm switching. Let's go, Lettuce. I don't think... Cedra is pretty fast. I don't know if... I don't know if being hit by Mudshot would have made Electro faster. Yeah, this is the best place to get experience before the final. There's a Blastoise, which, yeah, we didn't really see that because 
we didn't no one picked it. Squirtle was the abandoned one out. Probably being probably being careful about the professor because ever since like of course like in the later games or the earlier games or not the later games the professor has like the starter you didn't choose. But the thing is that Originally, like, Oak was going to be the final boss in Red and Blue, it, or, like, there's code in the data for that, and it's, like, higher, basically, the code in the data for Oak having higher level Pokemon than the champion, and he was going to have the starter you didn't choose. Anyway, I don't know, I, I don't know if I have any way more healing items for it. I have that full restore, but I'm not using it, I do not want to use it on roll. Okay, let's see. I can get, oh, I can give Roll the answer to this year if I need to, but I think it's about time. Yeah, I'll let Molotov have one more battle with the Lucky Egg. And I might give. What am I give Rocky the one? Caroline has a bell sprout. People pronounce it Caroline or Caroline. It doesn't matter. Flamethrower! I think I might be out of fire. So, so hopefully, just take it out. Okay, it does. Let's see, what else we got on here? Oh, Weeping Bell. Eh, you know what? Fine, I might as well switch. I don't have any more fire moves, and I don't want to use an elixir in battle. Haha! Wow, that was unintentional. Twice in a row. Well, not twice in a row, but twice in one episode. Let's go! There's Paris. Probably the most annoying Pokemon in Legend Arc. Right here is just a weak one. Could've hit it with a Shadow Ball, but it serves uh, the power points for my Psychic, but whatever. Yeah, this is the one Pokemon that can this is the one, this is one of the only two grass types that isn't, that isn't, doesn't have a hard poison type. And that's how primitive this game can be. Because this thing is grass bug. Yeah, the only other Pokemon is Tango, which is grass, and we already went over that during the Grim, the Grim episode. Yeah, I couldn't run with that, because that episode got a lot of views. Plus, I'm really proud of that editing. Let's always go back and rewatch the beginning of that episode. There we go, hipster! Nearly level 50. I'm furious! I would be too if I had a, if I just got swept by a full party of if I just got swept by a full party of trainers. Or not trainers, a full party of like balance a balanced team of Pokemon. And it was just a Kid. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but whatever. Oh yeah, pushing rocks. Ah, dang it. Wait, I should have... Okay, now that I'm in the field, or now that I'm... Yeah, now that I'm in the field, I'm going to... Do I have any elixirs left? I might as well. I do not. Okay. Yeah, Magmar, you're you're done here. You got enough experience. I'm going to give the lucky egg to Rock. Here we go. We got this guy. Oh, so you wish to challenge the Elite Four? Well, yes. That's the end game. Yeah, juggler. I thought you were a bird. Oh no, I. Okay, a psychic type. That's still pretty bad. I really want the experience, so. You know what? I'm gonna use strength and bulk up. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, you're using swagger. That's gonna hurt if I miss. 
but I'm, I'm willing to push me on. Go! You strength! Go, Rockley! You can do it! Yes! Good job! That's gonna immediately take it down. Yeah. Two attacks. That's pretty hard. Rockley, who the one is? Oh, yeah. Do I test my luck against it? Hit? No. Of course I am! Yes, twice in a row, let's go! Oh, Dabra, you strength! Come on, come on! Three times in a row! Three times in a row, baby! Critical hit, too! What if I lost? Dabra, come on! Let's go four for four! Yes, you stepped out of confusion! Ha ha! Muscle over mine! You got me! Yeah, I'm surprised. Good job, Rocky. That was awesome. You might be again. We're trying to become champions together! Well, only one person can become champions. I know two people can become champions, but I believe it's only one person. I don't know if there's I don't know if there's ever been a double battle champion. I haven't beaten I haven't beaten Scarlet Violet, I don't know if that's the case. So Oh and I forgot Molotov still has He still has no moves to cover for. Uh, you know what, Molotov? I'll have you switch out. I was going to put some status on these. I was gonna, like, lower the status for them, but... I'm uh, gonna pull them. Attack, defense, up. Body slam. Probably take that, come on. Oh wow, they're both the one after. I'm glad I used Bring on Nito King. You know King's more. And I'll put you know Queen to sleep. Strategy! Critical hit! Did these critical hit? Okay, yeah, poison win. I can't I can guard against I can guard against paralysis, but poison is worse. It must be drawn the line. It's alright though. We're almost out of here. You know what? Razor Link! I'm gonna hit you with two attacks. Come on, strength, finish it off. Okay, you have to kinda of take it, might survive. No, never mind. Okay, good. Level 49! Man, Rockley, you're killing it today. Ray and Terra. Oh, but. No buts. With that. Oh, yeah, there was one thing I forgot to mention, but. Well, I'll mention that in a little bit, but. Let's talk to this guy first. You should be proud of yourself, having battled your way through Victor Road so courageously. In recognition of your feat, I will teach you double edge. Would you like me to teach that technique? Eh, no, not right now. But yeah, you can teach us anytime. Welcome to Route 23. We have made it. Come on, can we make it before? Come on, need to go plateau. We need to do the half ass introduction, but let's see. Okay, we made it time. Yep, this is our final challenge, guys! We're nearing the end, folks. First things first. Yeah, welcome to Indigo Plateau. And I might as well just give you that bit of trivia while I'm up here. So, okay, there's two pieces of trivia now. Okay, so in Victory Road, originally Moltres was in Victory Road who played the original the original games on the, you know, red, blue, and yellow. Those games, there was no Mount Ember. 
Mount Ember is exclusively in this game. So yeah, there's that, and then also, I actually commented this on a... I commented this on a YouTube video about Indigo Plateau's music, but if you use the bicycle here, the music doesn't change. As you can see, it is the bike music. And nope. Let me let me demonstrate it over here too. Just because it's not just Indigo Plateau, it's also Route 23. See? Pretty cool, huh? That's a pretty cool piece of trivia. And on that note, we are gonna call it here, folks. In the next episode, we're going to go to the Elite Four, and I might do some things off screen like there's some move tutors, like as you saw with that guy who caught double edge. There's some move tutors I want to go see, so I will kind of mess around in some Pokemon move sets. I won't try to grind because I think I'm at a pretty, a pretty decent level for fighting the champion in the Elite Four. Maybe, maybe. I might try to grind a tiny bit, just. You'll see, you'll see in the next episode. Anyway, this is Metal Kid Doc, signing off.